there were things that I discovered that filled in more about that, why that might be what a person would say. So in a certain sense, until I found out more, I held him all kind of at a higher level of accountability. I think the, the main things he was saying was that he really, he was so rejecting of his Jewishness, and he was Jewish, and he was raised in a family. When I interviewed all throughout, not all of them, different options, they didn't even know there'd ever been a Jew. It was a big deal when the, the Catholic married the Christian, or the, you know, somebody who wasn't Catholic. They had no idea. So I, and I found out that people had sort of thought of him and really rejected him as the Jew, as the, like the little Jew in their family. So that explained part of why it was so important for him to make that statement in some ways. And I, it was about that. And I also really took it to me that, you know, part of what he was telling me was so much about how I was a product of a sex life, not of a, a marriage, not of a long-term relationship, although it was a sex relationship, but it was very different. He also treated you in a way as he treated his mistress. Yeah, he did. No, I think the whole thing, I mean, I think he, he would look at me and say, it's like, you don't know what it does to me to look at you. He would be like, oh, you're so successful, I'm so proud of you. God, I wish my other children were like you. It was like, really like, mm. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Another weird thing, like on the level of like it could be a coincidence, the narrator in End of Alice, who never is named, so it's jailed pedophile murderer, who's only once referred to as Chappie because he likes chapstick. My biological great grandfather, Chappie. Wow. Isn't that like something? And my father would say things to me like, tell me about that book you're writing. You know, and, then he, and he said things to me like, where'd you get Chappie from? And I had no idea what he was talking about. I thought, this is like such a pervert you're fixated on a Chappie? Yeah, you know, and I found out 10 years later that that's the thing. Genealogy. So. <laughs> Francine, um, in, in, in the latest book, in, in, you have some wonderful chapters that start with word and go on to sentence and go on to um, paragraph. But I'm interested in the chapter on character, as long as we're talking about character. Um, and in that, you focus on examples from 19th century literature. I'm wondering why you chose von Kleist, Jane Austen, George Eliot, Gustav Flaubert. Yeah, 19th, 18th, 18th, 19th, 18th. Well, okay. Yeah, well, because that's one of the thrills of, of reading in literature is to find out that someone who lived 200 years ago actually shared something in common with, with people you know. And you, you know, when you read Agatha Karenina and you go, oh my God, how did Tolstoy know all my friends? 